Hey everyone, in this short video, I am gonna uh, give you an introduction to the Cafe Press site. Um, so Cafe Press is another site that's very similar to like a Merch by Amazon type thing where you are not the seller of record, um, but you can upload designs and uh, earn royalties or commissions on those designs. Um, the great thing about Cafe Press is that it integrates with Amazon automatically. So um, you can actually uh, come over to the Cafe Press site and it's just cafepress.com. Um, when you get over here, you just click in, uh, click on sign in, join. It's going to bring you to a screen that looks like this. Um, the easiest way to sign up is just to click log in with Amazon. And um, if you haven't registered yet, what's going to happen is when you click on that, it's going to say, hey, we're going to send you an email um, to uh, that particular email address. You'll get the email. You just verify the account and that's all there is to it. It's going to pull all of your information as far as your name, your email. Um, it's going to use that same password and everything for the Cafe Press site. So. Once you get in here, it's going to bring you to your dashboard. And what I really want to show you today is um, something that's really cool about Cafe Press. Um, so when you're in here, uh, you would just click on Start Selling. And when you click on that, um, it's going to bring you to this page, um, Selling with Cafe Press. Um, the first thing up here is list in our marketplace, and that's where you would normally go to create your designs, upload all that good stuff. Um, the other things that I want to show you is that um, you can actually kind of create a shop um, with Cafe Press. So you can almost um, kind of build, like start building a brand. Um, you can do affiliate programs, things like that. But what I like most and what is different than a lot of other print on demand sites is the fan portal piece. Um, Redbubble just started offering this and Merch offers it um, through the Merch Collab program. Um, but with Merch, with Merch by Amazon, the Merch Collab program, you actually have to apply and get approved and things of that nature. Um, I'm not aware of very many people who have been approved. Actually, I only know of one, um, but um, it is an option. But here, you don't have to apply. It's literally as easy as clicking on fan portals and it opens this up to you. And um, it tells you that you can actually design shirts and gear for um, your favorite movies, TV shows, games, and organizations. Um, and this is primarily why I'm showing you this today is for the organizations. Um, a lot of people um, who are veterans would like to um, design shirts for the uh, branch of military that they served in. Um, and due to trademarks, a lot of times they can't do that or you know they, they can't use the word US Army, um, things like that. Um, but here you can. So um, to find out the rules or the guidelines, um, you just simply click on which one you want to do. It's going to give you um, guidelines as far as if you're allowed to use any of their logos or their seals, um, which ones um, are approved and which ones aren't. So in this case, it looks like those are these particular um, seals are the ones that they will allow. Um, if there's certain wording or certain um, colors that you can use or can't use, it's going to it's going to guide you and tell you that. Um, it will also tell you if there are things, you know, if you can't use profanity, things of that nature. Um, and uh, if there are only certain products. So um, sometimes there are, sometimes they don't um, distinguish certain products or anything like that. Um, in this case, it looks like they are. Um, let's take a look at the, the Army one and see if it's different. Um, from what I've seen, they're all different. So you really have to you know, decide which ones you want to design for. And um, I mean, here they even give you the logos. Um, to use. And let's look down here and see if there are any certain 
see this one doesn't have any um, uh, restrictions essentially except for um, it looks like you can't put this on the um, there's actually underwear and undergarments available on cafe press so um, it looks like you're not permitted to put those on those type of items so um, but this is a great way for fans of you know these organizations or these movies or tv shows um, to actually you know create some fan art um, and partner with these companies you know we see so many infringing shirts on amazon um, it's frustrating um, to see that um, but here is a um, great way to you know legally partner with these these companies so um and um here's the piece so this also somehow um integrates with amazon um i don't know if you've ever noticed but um when you're searching through things on amazon sometimes you'll actually see where it says like cafe press um and i've always been kind of curious about that um so it seems that somehow all of the cafe press listings get pushed over to amazon um, so buyers can actually purchase your shirts on amazon now they're not prime eligible like we have um you know the luxury of having in the merch by amazon program um but to some people that doesn't matter um you know if they are an army veteran they're going to buy the shirt if they love it, regardless of whether it's prime eligible or not. So um, to show you these, I've, I've just, you know, searched Army Shirt Cafe Press. Um, you know, people typically aren't going to put the Cafe Press piece there, um, but these listings will be sprinkled in with everything else. And um, when someone clicks on it, you'll see that the brand is going to show as cafe press um, but it's going to pull over your listing information from cafe press if you've got any of that in there um, and uh, the customer can actually purchase it right from here um, it's going to still give you credit back on the cafe press site so um, and and they do this automatically the other really cool thing is that um, so I'm going to take out the shirt piece here and just do army so that you can see some of these other um, some of these other items that you can actually create on the cafe press site so um, this is a really cool um, keepsake box that someone has created on cafe press um, legally used the US Army um, logo for their design um, and there's several others you know there's mouse pads there's bags there's you know all sorts of things here so um, this is just a really cool way to um, take advantage of that opportunity to use those organizational logos um, and create some really cool products so um, I hope this helps and I uh, hope this opens everyone's eyes to some of the other uh, print-on-demand possibilities that are out there. All right, thanks.